happy Saturday, everyone. So we had a great day across Rio Grande Valley, but temperatures were a little bit warm and the conditions were a little bit breezy and we had partly cloudy skies. So not really ideal conditions, but on the positive side, we don't have any rain yet. That is the key word because we eventually will and we'll take a closer look in just a couple minutes. But those warm temperatures will continue into the overnight hours. Morning lows will only drop down to the upper 60s to low 70s and those clouds will also be sticking around. But getting a closer look for tomorrow because temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer than today. The high for Brownsville is going to be 87. Harlingen as well. Wesico 88 and Rio Grande City 86 under mostly cloudy skies. But let's take a closer look at our winds as well because we are are still going to have a breezy condition. So for tomorrow, we could have wind gusts up to 20 miles per hour. But then as we head into the early hours, some winds are going to be a little bit calm for some areas, but the strongest winds are going to be just along the coast. And you can still expect those breezy conditions to continue into Monday and with warm temperatures and cloudy skies as well. So here's a, another look at what we can expect these next couple of days. So for tomorrow, we are going to see a little bit of a change. Now we'll still have those cloudy skies, but a cold front is going to dip down into the valley. Now this cold front's not going to dip all the way through the valley and it's not a strong one by any means. So don't expect a huge temperature drop, but this cold front is going to bring a few showers into the valley, but the coverage is relatively low, anywhere from a 10 to a 20% but as we head into the middle of the work week, another cold front's going to arrive, and this one's a little bit stronger. This one's going to bring a little bit more rain chances for us, anywhere from a 20 to a 30%, and this one's actually going to bring in that slightly cooler and drier air behind it, so we'll have those temperatures be a little bit cooler as opposed to what we've been seeing these last couple of days. But the big talk is the solar eclipse, which is happening this Monday, April 8th. Now, conditions are still going to be hot in the mid to upper 80s, close to 90 degrees so it's going to be pretty hot so if you do have plans to go see the eclipse outside make sure to follow those heat safety tips because conditions are going to be hot however we are going to have a mostly cloudy sky so not really ideal conditions to see a solar eclipse but take a look at this we have anywhere from a 90 percent to an 80 percent uh, chance of seeing uh, the solar eclipse so again really nice chances but it could be affected by those mostly cloudy skies so just take precaution no matter what make sure to to wear the proper eye gear but remember conditions are still going to be hot as we head into the middle of the work week until that cold front arriving on Wednesday cooling us down just a little bit and when I mean a little bit I, I mean the temperatures are only going to be in the mid to low 80s but that's not going to last because as we head toward the end of next weekend those temperatures will be warming back up once again under partly cloudy skies and well you can see it there 89 to 83 that's just a little bit just a little yeah, bit yeah not too too much but mm -hmm. hey we'll take any little cool down that we can get now because come summer, yeah. we probably won't get too many. No, not at all. It's going to be hot, hot, hot every single day, triple digits. But you know, it's good that you also mentioned the heat on Monday because I hadn't thought about that. But yeah, you're going to be out there waiting for that eclipse. Yeah. So yeah, take your precautions, have your water on standby, your mm -hmm. sunscreen. Oh yeah. Because that'll get you real quick. Yes. All right. Well, <laughs> so to come, our Blake Holland will have the soccer playoff highlights. Don't go anywhere. We have that next after the break.